Jeanette Barber reporting not live from the woods in Central Park. The Daily Woody, but tonight a report from the front line. The crisis grows in the battle against coronavirus. Uh, because I'm wearing my biggest pair of fat jeans. They're the biggest ones that I have left. So after this, I won't be able to go outside anymore. My caftan is, uh, you know, fitted now. It's snug. It was made out of that jersey fabric. You know, you can do anything with that. You shouldn't do anything with that, but you, uh, but what you, 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 but you can. Um, this is my last pair of fat pants. So, you know, in the beginning of this crisis, we didn't think it could get this bad. And now we see. I think, I think it has something to do with my eating. Even though I'm trying to stay healthy. Last night, I had oatmeal four times. And, uh, and I don't get, and it's the uh, individual size packets, four of them, uh, that I had. And it's not the kind with sugar or, you know, maple flavored, uh, marvelously, it's just plain old oatmeal. There's nothing in it except rolled oats and oats. It's just, that's all it is, is some dried oatmeal. So, um, you know, that's a version of health food. Um, honestly and uh, so there's no sweetener in it so uh, I put a little bit of molasses not a lot I mean literally like a half a teaspoonful and uh, molasses which by the way is very good for you I don't know if you know this um, very high in iron and in um, calcium the number of dogs here it feels like I'm put out here as bait but anyway uh, so I put a little bit of a uh, molasses uh, in the oatmeal and stirred that up. That really isn't quite sweet enough. So of course I added uh, honey. Although I have read, and I'm sure you have too, that local honey has does something to you. It, it makes it so you don't get allergies um, uh, anymore. And, um, and I don't have allergies and I bought the honey uh, locally at a store nearby. So that makes honey almost something like something you should have. You know what I mean? And then um, uh, the almonds, but um, nuts, they're high in protein. They're so good for you. They're practically pills. Honestly, they, I might as well be taking pills. So I, I threw those in. Now, then I had this little, uh, you know, sometimes problems which turn out to be blessings in the long run. Well, after I get all this far, I've got no milk. And of course, I'm not gonna go out to, you know, Virus Central to get milk. But what I did have was a bottle of Parmalat which I had heard of Parmalat. It's some kind of a milk thing that it's in a box and it's uh, shelf stable. And then when you uh, use it, it tastes, um, well, it serves the function of milk. I, I think that's a better way to put it. But um, since I wanted the oatmeal, I figured I'll try this uh, Parmalat. And when I got up there, I realized I had scored at the grocery store and found a box of yellow raisins because I didn't start to uh, panic uh, or impulse buy or hoard nearly on time because I didn't think anything was going to really be that bad. But I did score this one box of raisins, which I had forgotten because it was hiding behind the Parmalat. So I threw some of those uh, in the oatmeal, which is dried fruit, which is, fruit is so healthy, it doesn't even count as food. Uh, so basically I had, you know, some servings of fruit. Um, in there and a couple of prunes because uh, they were there and uh, they're supposed to have this I don't understand it but they've got probiotic prunes it says you know the more you well whatever uh, so I just mixed uh, that up and uh, put a little less Parmalat than I would regular milk and kind of stirred it up and added a little bit more honey on top and well it tasted like pudding that's what I thought it was like hot lumpy pudding uh, with your broken up pills almonds uh, inside so after I did that after I had that uh, you know there was nothing that sounded better to me than uh, more so so I had it again just that same amount which is basically all health food uh, when you th you know honey I mean I'm just I'm avoiding allergies this is not the time of year to have allergies so I almost had to have that anyway so after I had it twice it was so good 
and I managed to stay away from it for a few hours. Oh, that scared me to death. That man was hawking over there. Oh goodness, you don't want anyone hawking in the breeze. Oh, well, I completely forgot what I was talking about. Oh, uh, I think it's that I, oh yeah, the oatmeal. So I had it a third time. And then, you know, sometimes if you have something right before you go to bed, um, it's, it's, uh, you sleep better. And um, so, and I don't think he's on the phone either. I think he's just having a chat with himself, uh, similar to what I'm doing. But be that as it may, um, oh dear, this could be scary. Um, oh no, he's going away. He just wanted me to know that he was smarter than me and I don't doubt it in the slightest. Now, what was I talking about before I was almost killed? Um, how far away was he from me, from me while breathing? That was a scary situation. Um, oh yeah, the oatmeal. So I had it one more time before I went to bed. Uh, so I just had oatmeal four times uh, yesterday. And uh, now I'm on my biggest pair, pair of, uh, of fat pants. Um, you know, I thought I was covered, see, because I had kept not only the fat pants, I had kept the pants that were too, too big to even be considered fat pants. So, you, you know, with that kind of a spread, I, I, you know, I thought I was up for any kind of an emergency, but, uh, you can never have too much insurance. You can't. So that's what I'm taking away from this epidemic for the next one is in your emergency supply kit, which you really have got to have from now on, uh, two pair of pants in every single size. Yes. Oh, <laughs> don't underestimate yourself. Every single size. And uh, we're hoping that we can get some relief here at the front, on the front line the daily woody.